going to the game, I'm going to be playing Jungle Warwick and show you how to use this champion. In this matchup, we're currently up against Kane and in a Warwick versus Kane, this is an advantage for Warwick. Assuming this is blue Kane, we would have the advantage in the early game since he still needs his form. We can also counter Kane's burst with the use of our third skill so there's no way that the enemy Kane can beat us in a 1v1 situation. The clear that I'm doing is a red side clear into a flex depending on what happens. One tip when playing Warwick is to make use of his second skill. If it activates, then it means that there's an opponent that is below 50%, which gives you additional move speed, and this will make your ganks much better. But usually, what you want to do in Warwick is to get your level 5 as soon as possible so that you could get access to your ultimate, which also makes your ganks a lot stronger. The reason why I'm starting at the bot side instead of the top side is because I'd like to path towards this Nasus. And as you could see, my second skill just propped, and this means that someone's low HP. Looking at the minimap, this is gonna be the Nasus, and it's the perfect lane that needs to get ganked since I'm passing towards this. We get level 3, I have two options. One is to go straight to the Nasus, and the other is to go for the blue buff. We see that Kane is in the top side, and with the additional movement speed, we should be able to help him. If Science able to buy a bit more time, then I definitely can go for a counter gank. We see Kane use our second skill to know where he is. Third skill to proc the fear. First skill to do, deal some damage and flash in. Deal the last auto. And the red buff should be able to get the kill. This is what's so good about Warwick. The second skill is kinda OP. Unfortunately, I did not know Katarina was there and they were able to get a counter kill. But basically, this is what you want to do when playing Warwick throughout the early stage of the game. It's fine, we still get first blood and with this additional gold, this should help us get our Triforce much faster. After respawning, we go for our top side. Good job on our duo lane, getting a kill onto the Draven, so he should not be able to cash out as easily. And as much as I'd like to gank the top side, it's gonna be a bit hard since Nasus is kinda tanky, so I wanna get my level 5 at least before ganking, but our Baron laner got a bit too greedy, and now with Nasus level 5, it's kinda hard to gank him even though he's low HP since he's under the tower. Our Jinx goes down, I still have my second skill to know where he is, but unfortunately, he doesn't want to go a bit closer, so I'm not able to punish him as much. With all that's happened, I'll just go back to my camps and start clearing. A tip when clearing camps with Warwick is to smite the camp as soon as possible so that it falls below the 50% threshold. If it goes below 50%, you would get additional attack speed with your second skill, making these camps a lot faster to clear. My passive procs again, but I just want to go back to my base. It's quite far, so I buy my sheen first, then immediately sprint towards the bottom lane. I see that Katarina's on the way, so I should be in position to be able to go for a counter gank. If nothing happens, I'll just start to clear my bot side. There's a high chance that Jinx will get dove, especially since Alistar is really good at diving champions. Katarina shows up, tries to go for a Jinx. She falls down. I'm there to go for a counter gank. I'm kinda far. I'm not able to reach the Draven or Katarina, so we'll just go for the Alistar instead. We force up his ulti, and once he's a bit too far, we have our ultimate to chase him down. Third skill to get a bit of more durability, but they just deal so much damage with Katarina getting the reset. And what I'm mad about right now is this Seraphine is not moving. Katarina was bought the bot side for a good one minute, and Seraphine did nothing. Didn't, didn't even get a plate in the mid lane, and that's why I'm kind of tilted with what happened. If Seraphine was there, it would have been perfect. If she ulted third skill, maybe everyone would have died. Nevertheless, we'll just go back to our camps and start clearing again while waiting for the objective to spawn. This Nasus is low yet again, but I'm not getting the perfect timing to be able to, camp, to gank that champion because of the fact that he's kinda tanky and he has ultimate to try and bait us for going on a dive. 
Katarina shows up again. She's really annoying. She actually ganks more than their own jungler. And seeing that they're at the bot side, I tried to go for a gank onto the Nasus, but their cane shows up. Look at my burst, by the way. Kraken Slayer. And with my auto attacks, he just disappears in one combo. And this is the potential of Warwick in a 1v1 situation. He actually has one of the strongest 1v1s because of his third skill, decreasing damage, and his first skill, giving him so much lifesteal. With their jungler down, this should be a free herald, and there's a possibility that we can take the dragon as well because of the fact that the opponents won't start this objective since the cane is not yet there. We've positioned ourselves to go for the dragon. We put Herald first. So it puts a bit of pressure on their team. And seeing that the objective is quite low. The only issue here is I don't have my smite. So we'll just go for kills instead. Alistar tanking so much damage. My ultimate is still on cooldown. And I don't know what happened. We got destroyed. Due to our positioning. I don't know why Jinx was on the other side. She couldn't do anything. And yeah. Not the best decision. I'm the only one who has damage and I needed to go close in order to DPS their carries. With all that's happened, their bot lane is playing so well. They're getting kills everywhere. Also their mid lane. Nasus is uh, backdooring our top side. We go for uh, ulti. We reach the Alistar. And this is another thing about Warwick. If your second skill is active, the range of your ultimate goes further unexpected ulti we take down the alistar and we path towards his nasus who has been proxying the minions he has his heart steal it's fine we fear him away since there's a high chance he's gonna flash we have our first kill and knowing that he has no flash we're just able to get the kill despite everything that's happened even though when it comes to the team play we are kind of outclassed we're still in a very competitive situation 7 to 10, we're able to farm properly. The only thing that I need is my team to get money. Since Warwick is not a 1v9 champion, he's more of a uh, police type of champion where you wanna go in at the last possible moment to get all of the kills with your second skill. Going to the bot side, we wanna clear this red buff. I have my ultimate, so I wanna look for a gank. Maybe on the, on the mid or bot lane. But seeing that they're playing kind of safe. It's hard for me to go for these lanes. So maybe I'll just go for the bottom lane instead. We see Alistar diving the Jinx in the minimap. Making it the perfect time to gank. We catch the Draven. Fear him with the Rakan CC. We're able to take him down. Katarina. Of course she's here. And I save my ultimate to cancel Kat's ulti. Even though I get cancelled by Alistar. It's fine, at least Katarina wasn't able to get a reset. And overall, we were able to get a 2 for none exchange at the bottom side with their Seraphine doing absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, the opponent does a good job getting top tower. I think they also got our Scion and it was an overall trade. 7.3k gold, I have so much money but if you look at the next person, it's 6k and it's this Scion who's just going for a split push build. Nasus should be able to hold against the Scion. And that is something I need to be worried about. Because when it comes to scaling, our Scion gets utterly outscaled with uh, Scion Q plus Hard Steel. Another fight happens mid lane or top lane. I need to decide on which lane to go for. I'll just go for the top lane instead. With all of the move speed that I have. We should be able to take down their Baron laner. And get some priority in the map. Draven, Katarina, as usual, very active in the, in the map, forcing our Scion to flash. Maybe we could go for a turn if possible, but looking on what's happening, I really want to go for a fight. Seraphine gets a snare to the Alistar, but this guy is just beefy. I'm just waiting for Katarina to go in so we could punish. I don't know why Rakan is not fighting because it's currently a 3v4. Yet, my teammates are very, very scared. I had to die first. And since I have all of the damage, the moment I died is just the moment that we do lose the fight. I got a bit impatient, honestly, because 
I don't know why my team doesn't want to engage. Rakan had ulti. If we combine it with Seraphine ulti plus Warwick ulti, we could have gotten the easy 3v4 win. Quite disappointed. <laughs> I don't know why my team is scared. Oh well, it's fine. We just go for the next play. Game's not yet over. We just need to burst this Draven. With the objective spawning in 10 seconds, we just want to take the blue buff. And honestly, I'm not that confident that we could win. So there's a chance that we would just want to go for a trade. Especially since the Scion is just busy split pushing their towers. If this is going to be a 4v5 with the Nasus there, then there's no way I would go for the contest. But my team likes to contest this. It's already too late. We just need to buy time for this Nasus to split. That's why I'm not even going close to the opponents so that my teammates wouldn't get any funny ideas. We continue to clear our camps while waiting for someone to get out of position. Warwick clear, not the worst. And with Wit's End, this is actually a good item on Warwick. But wait, Katarina ganks bot lane and luckily, we're there in position to be able to help our Jinx. At least our Jinx is getting some gold. I think she was able to solo kill someone earlier at the bot side plus get a tower. And as expected, the Scion busy split pushing. He goes down. Seeing that there are canes at the top side, we go and invade his bot side camps. Since this is gonna be free. Looking at the cane though, he went for the red cane. Maybe because he couldn't get any stacks. Since if you look at his runes, he went for his first strike. So... Not sure what happened. And with this Randuins, this is really good on Warwick. They have a lot of AD in their composition with Nasus Q and Draven damage. Randuins is perfect to be able to mitigate that kind of damage. Pretty late ulti by me and the uh, Jinx. We thought that he was going to be alive. Now we're two ultimates down. So I'll just probably go back to base since... This is not going to be a good position for us to fight. With the Baron up, surely they don't start this with everyone being there. So we'll just go back and continue to farm our items. As I said earlier, the reason why Wit's End is really good is because it has good synergy with Warwick's ulti. If you hit someone with Warwick's ulti, you would be able to proc not only Wit's End, but also the Kraken Slayer. And that is why sometimes if a Warwick ults you, it's almost a one-shot skill. In this game, we're building the AD tank type Warwick where we go for a bit of damage. Then after the second item, we'll just go for a tanky Warwick. There's also another variation, the AP one. It's a bit more fun, but it's a lot more risky to use. That's why I just stuck to this version. We go bot side. There's a big wave. No one wants to farm this. So we'll just take this for ourselves. Stasis is another item that I want to take. And as soon as they see me bot, they immediately start the Baron. I don't know why Scion is pushing mid while there's a fight going on and they're taking Baron. My second skill doesn't prop for some reason. Probably out of position. So they're able to take the Baron. We see the Katarina flash so we flash in ourselves but we get outplayed. Nice Shunpo on her end. And they're able to take the Baron for free. This game is just making me so tilted. Our team has zero synergy, by the way. They're just doing random stuff. And hopefully, we're able to turn this game around. Now they have Baron, so we have to play defensively. Wait for someone to get out of position. Our comp is actually good. Seraphine, Warwick, plus Rakan, and C. This is what we need to do earlier. With the Rakan going in plus Seraphine ulti, we should be able to just burst anyone in their team. Kane is split pushing bot lane. I know that I win the 1v1. We see that his third skill, there's a circle. That's where he's gonna pop out. We have our ultimate to chase. Look at the damage of my ulti. Put him into one, uh, 3 fourths HP. He has his own ulti to get his HP back. And the only problem... Why I'm not able to take down the cane is because I don't have anti-heal. But the cane is not my problem. I need to take down the Katarina or Draven in the fights. And that's the reason why I'm not building any anti-heal. We go back to base by our stasis. 
look to see what we wanna go next. And Guardian Angel is perfect. So that when we die, we wouldn't give Katarina a free reset. Usually, I would go with Sterox Gage or Death's Dance. Sterox out of the question. With Katarina having anti-shield. And with the next dragon up, this is something that we should be able to contest. But with Scion still down, it's gonna be very, very risky. If ever, we'll just force the team fight, try to win the 50 50. We're able to steal the dragon. Nice follow up by my teammates. Draven is on the front line. Perfect positioning. Their Katarina dies in the back line for some reason. And look at this. Our comp is just that strong. We just won a 5v4. Sion wasn't even there and everyone was alive. That's why I was tilted a while ago. This is something that we should have done way, way earlier. But at least, better late than never, we're finally able to execute this properly. All I need is to, uh, for someone to follow up when I go for an ulti or for them to go first. With four members down, we should be able to get the mid and top inhibitors. Alistar out of position so we'll just go for the punish even though he has ulti all he's doing is just buying time and this is still enough time for us to take both the baron and mid lane inhibitors katarina even though she is very strong early on once we're playing together it's very hard for her to pop off with all of the crowd control that we have seraphine ult warwick fear plus ulti even rakan has his own charm Getting two inhibitors. Now we're in the driver's seat. Finally, we could possibly go for the Baron, but this is gonna be a possible throw. Sion, you know what? This guy is doing whatever he wants, whatever. We could win this 4v4. We now get our Guardian Angel. The next option for us to do is to try to get this Baron so that we could just end the game. The only issue here is that their jungler is still up. And I, at this point, since we're winning, I don't want to flip this objective. We clear the mid lane. My team is trying to look for a good position. Another 5v4, which is okay as long as we play it properly. We look for the Draven. Out of position. Jinx getting the reset. And as soon as their ADC is gone, their jungler is also dead. Katarina. Not able to get off a good ulti. I don't know why Jinx flashed in for fun. And Seraphine still has her ulti. I have my Zonia to get a bit more HP. My Guardian Angel Prox currently at 3v3. I have my third skill. And look at the healing that I'm getting. And I'm so tanky by the way. With my third skill. Wits End plus my passive. We live with one HP. Sion finally for the first time he's able to help with the team fight. Nasus the only one left. Pretty clutch. Nexus is exposed and we should be able to end this game. Kane and Draven are both spawning in 5 seconds. So I have to turn around, take this Nasus and push with my team. I have ultimate just in case but you know what? Let's just go straight for the end. Activate my third skill giving me more durability. Sion, just do your job. Push the Nexus and get me out of this game. Oh my god, this is a very stressful game. But as you could see, this is how you could clutch the game with Warwick with all of the lifesteal and burst that you have. We get MVP with a 12, 5, and 9 scoreline. I don't know what happened. We'll take it. Typical solo queue game. 17k gold, 31k damage, and being a tank at the same time, we were able to bring back the game from a 3k deficit. If there's a rune that I could change here, Probably the coup de gras would have been Giant Slayer. But aside from that, very stressful game. So I hope you guys enjoyed our Warwick Jungle. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. That is it for me. Peace out. Ciao, ciao. Bye.